this year's most important part of speech and most important punctuation mark. And here come our first contenders, Andy, the Verb Family. Yes, Adrian, two members of the Verb Family have high hopes of being chosen this year. Bernard Verb for his active participation in many sentences and his self-sufficient daughter, Link, for her substantial role in many others. Vernon is, accom is accompanied by his ever-ready and most helpful wife, Henrietta. And I see that some of our smaller parts of speech are arriving. Absolutely, Andy. Preposition is here tonight with a charming funny Junction <coughs> and an old friend of his from grammar school, Art Baker. These young folks have small but incredibly numerous parts in many sentences. Oh, and I see that, our, that last year's winner, the fabulously important Nathaniel Noun, has arrived. Yes, Adrian, it's quite a treat to see this illustrious giant of the grammar world. Nathaniel now is a serious contender because of his numerous, numerous portrayals of people, places, and things in sentences all across the country. I see that he's accompanied, as always, by his devoted secretary, Ms. Polly Pronoun. And here come two outside chances for the most important punctuation mark and most important, most important punctuation mark the wildly daring M exclamation point, and the intriguingly lovely follow question mark. I see our remarkable judges for this exciting event are just arriving, Adrian. Amy Claus, a most successful entrepreneur in the sentence biz, and her third husband, Devin. Indeed, Andy, and completing our panel of three judges is the most lovely and picturesque Phyllis Grace. It promises to be a really remarkable evening, Andy, with all these incredibly talented elements gathered together. Let's not stand by a moment longer, but let's listen intently. Oh, honestly, Polly, I don't know why I bothered to come to these things year after year. There is an in interesting person in the whole crowd. I'm bound to be the winner again. Yes, Mr. Noun. And the things they talk about, so tedious. It just can't compare. No, Mr. Noun. I really would rather be almost any place else. Just take my place for me, will you, Polly, while I slip out for some fresh air? Of course, Mr. Noun, anything you say. Are you Polly Pronoun, and could that have just been the world-famous Mr. Nathaniel now leaving? That's him, all right. My boss, not this pontificator. What's it like working for a man like that? Oh, rewarding, busy. But it's pretty tedious sometimes, standing in for him at all these functions. I mean, it's a lot of work without much reward, you know? Yo, Quilla! What in the world? What is it, Emma? Must you shout so? I always shout. Want you to meet some friends of mine. Quell a question mark. This is Art Ickle, Connie Junction, and Preposition. What do you all think of the competition this evening? All I can say is if they're judging my frequency of use, then obviously I'm the one. But, but. But, old chap, you and I are awfully close on that score. I mean, you simply can't get into, out of, or around to anything without me. And, and. And, of course, Nate Noun is so impressive, he'll be hard to beat. Or, or, or that clever little link verb. Isn't she too small? Why do you think she's so important? Because, because... Because size has nothing to do with importance. Haven't you seen she's always around, uh, holding things together? There are times when her family couldn't do without her. Well, I think it's pretty rotten, my pal Isaac interjection not being considered. I mean, he and I are like this. And talk about getting people's attention. That's what's important. We should be shoo-ins. If I win, I'm giving half the credit to him. Quilla, Quilla, for good to you better not be making up to anyone. Alex, when did you get here? Just not on a moment too soon, I see. I want you to meet a nice married couple who really know how to stick together. The quotes. Boy, that guy is so possessive. You said it. Quintus and Queenie, quotation mark. I would like you to meet my girl, Quilla, question mark. Charm. Could you all think we'll win the most important punctuation? Oh, well, I don't know what they think. It's really important, but if it's... Speaking clearly. Then they'll have to choose us. us. Do you think they'll give it to a couple? Well, if they choose us. They'll have to. We always stick together. I wouldn't be able to say anything that without you. You guys got a great relation relationship. That's just the way Quilla and I would be once we tie a knot. Right, Quilla? Oh, Alex, don't you think you're rushing things a little? Excuse me, I'm Henrietta Bird, and I couldn't help overhearing you. That's my mom, all right, always trying to help. Yes, I do, really, but you know, Mr. Apostrophe, you mustn't try to crush two towns together just because you're in a hurry. You might leave something out. Nonsense, Vernon Verb here. I'm a man of action myself, and I say, do it. Tie the knot, bite the bullet, take the plunge, go for it. Now, Vernon, don't be so impulsive. 
Remember what the doctor said and about your blood pressure. My parents, what a trip. As usual, I'm the one left hanging around holding everything together. However, do you manage? And so, as you can see, our numerous nervous contenders are discussing their probable positions. It's really very interesting to see how quickly some people jump hastily to conclusions that are obviously not well thought out. That's right, Adrian. And we mustn't forget to mention our two absent, but nonetheless important possibilities, Paula Period and Patty and Patrick parentheses. Confidentially, Andy, I heard a rumor yesterday that Patty and Patrick thoroughly dislike this sort of affair and think it's completely beside the point when it comes to good grammar. Beside the point? I think that would be just the reason for them to relish this award. True. Incidentally, I think I do know why Paula Period is not attending. Why? I can't imagine why such a practical and important punctuation mark would stay away. She's trying to make a statement. That may be, Adrian, but our impressive and practical panel of judges won't be so fickle or foolhardy as to be swayed by such amateurish antics. That's so true, Andy. Let's slowly examine their very impressive credentials. 